Vietnam last year, before I started planning, I took a trip to Burkina Faso and it's just amazing. Like all the women ride on motorcycles and I'm not talking small mopeds, no, yeah. like kind of butch. But <laughs> what's, 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 what's interesting about it is how they are perched on that. It's so elegant, so poised, still in their wrapped cloth and so on. And I thought, you know what, how do we channel this in our collection and still make it modern? And, and so what I got from that was functionality. It just needs functional, she needs to be able to throw her leg over that bike yeah. and go. It's the arts and crafts in Kenya that I've been working with for a long time and I delved into my design archive and thought let me use this technique again, that technique again, that technique again and let's modernise it and do something special. I was inspired by multicultural, it's like a multicultural eclectic mesh, a traditional um, folklorism in West Africa and with a mix of, you can see a Asian re reference in there also. I wanted to explore the similarities between the traditional African dancers, you know, with the trimming with the raffia at the bottom of the pants and also on the ankles and the, and the wrists. The main uh, thing about the collection is pride. Pride means, you know, we as African, we need to be proud of ourselves, you understand? And this is because of our father of nation, Mwalim Julius Karamaraga Nyerere, who fought for us so we can be independent and we can make our own history. So this is what we make history now, like Africans to the world. We always get our inspiration from uh, our new fabric collections that we uh, see at the malls because we visit the uh, Italian malls um, every season and whatever new technical fabrics they work with we try and experiment with. If you look at the fabrics in the suiting that we've used, it's very technical, there's a lot of texture on it and a lot of interweaving of different yarns like wool and silk mixes, the shanjan and all those type of mixes in the, in the fabrics. And the shirting we thought we'd bring a bit of uh, not really Africanism, but that bit of African flair in the shirting which made it loud, because otherwise the suit could be pretty much boring at times. Yeah.